What's up, y'all? It's me, Tasha C, and welcome to the Tasha C Show Podcast. Shout out to my YouTube podcast, Hugs and Loves, Positivity, Safety, Positive Advice, Positive Manifestations. Um, for you, shoot towards your way, hugs and loves, of course, again, and hugs and loves and shout on safe positivity manifestations to the people who support me. Where you, where you part, or you know, I strongly highly recommend if you don't mind joining both my YouTube and my podcast fam. My YouTube channel, by the way, is Tasha C TV. Don't forget the TV part, and um, hugs and loves to y'all. Thank you for all the support I have. Today is nine fifty p.m. and it's April twenty seventh, twenty twenty. Um, sorry, I would have uploaded, well, I opened the kind of upload kind of later of yesterday anyway, but I'm not pre-recording today. I finally was able to get some sleep, uh, last night again. It wasn't on Sunday. I woke up at three, then went back to bed. Thank God. So, then I left. So, uh, I, you know, wasn't up to do my pre early in the morning slash late in the night recording. So today y'all is going to be one article, but before, um, I do that. I just, you know, had a couple of uh, little mini announcements uh, about this new show on Tyler Perry, the BT Plus. Now, already, if y'all watched the Oval, the small, um, it's called Ruthless, which is like parental advisory. Got new and stuff in it. I have not seen the series yet, but if you go to Ashley Miller's YouTube channel, she had talked a little bit brief about it. Um, also, Disney's, um, I was going to say Disney, but whoop, wrong corporation brand. Um, this, uh, uh, BT Plus is about to have a spinoff, uh, uh, you know, they got Sister on BT, but now they got a comedy series called Bruh on BT that's come. I mean, Plus, on May the 6th. Okay, also, yesterday, I think it was the anniversary, a couple days ago, uh, it was the 23-year anniversary of Share My World, Mary J. Bly's album, one of, one of my favorite albums, just the song alone, let alone the album, that... Time not trying. You haven't heard it. Listen, purchase. Please do. Please do. And you're like, you know, RB, so that, you know, well, you know, razzle dazzle of a uh, hip hop. Go ahead. Okay. Um, also, yesterday was the leg- living legendary T Boss's birthday was yesterday. I did not know until I went on her Instagram. So I blessed her that she made it. She's 50 years young. Um, and, you know, she from the hit TLC, she's been, a, like, a couple times, been a couple of acting things. But, if, you know, y'all don't know where she is. She's from, you know, one of the lead singers of the group. Uh, I was her and Chili, and it left, I was kind of like, God rest her soul, was, like, the rapping, creative person. But she, you know, T-Boss. So, also, this two, I have a couple people, birthday today. Uh, oh, no, yeah, birthday's today. Uh, I always remember this day too. This is actually the day I actually got my certificate. Right about bachelor's degree certificate, the twenty April twenty seventh as well. So, also too, um, a person that you know, this person has a birthday twin, just like I have a celebrity birthday twin. I meant to say, uh, my celebrity birthday twin is exactly Nick Cannon. That's not the only birthday twin, but what I mean is, it's like the same birthday year and every different thing. Um, Lizzo, Lizzo is thirty years two year, years young today. So her birthday is today. Um, Teen up. He more so. I find him on Instagram. He's an inspiration. He's gonna be, but he does all the stuff. He's major talent. Knows to play the drums. All this other stuff. And his birthday's today too. Um, if y'all uh, know about, like, I mean, I know she moms was fashion over some things, but I found her. Her birthday's day. Nano. N A. I think is an O or or zero. I don't know what it means, but I mean what she means by that. But her birthday stays too. So happy birthday as well. And, um, Coretta Scott King got rest her soul. Her birthday is today as well. And she, if she was still alive, but it's still her B-Day. So, anyway. Um, let me get on to the one article. I forgot. I thought I needed to say something else in this segment, but I don't think so. I, I thought something else was going to premiere, um soon, but nothing to my knowledge, I do know, like I said, I told before, my love birds is supposed to come next month, and heck, and next month gonna be, what, this Saturday, I think, so, but I think it's towards the end of next month, you know, so anyways, I'm just gonna read my one article, sorry y'all, it may not be long, but today, I was originally gonna read this with the Harry Balafonte, but I got tired when I was reading Harry Balafonte, so I was like, you know what, this is the only one I'm gonna read, so today we're going to talk about on uh, past.org. 
Bridget Louise Helmans Carter, who was born in 1921, passed away in 2011. Now, this was actually posted on April 24, 2020, contributed by Samuel Monudu. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I tell words, so let me go. You know, just let y'all know in advance. Mirja Louise Hammonds Carter became one of the first women to earn a pilot's license through the civilian pilot training program. She was also the first black female pilot in Alabama. Despite her ability of being denied admissions to the Tuskegee. Airman program, Hemis will later be declared an officer member of the group in 2011. Major Hemis was born September 14, 1921 to Mammy and Lucifer Hemis in Benson's, Alabama. She lived in Tuskegee, Alabama for a brief time before her family moved to Evelyn, North Carolina, where her father worked as a business manager for the All Black Bricks uh, Junior College. After the college closed during the Great Depression, Helms' family moved to Holly Springs, Mississippi, where she completed her high school studies. Hemmings then attended Tuskegee Institute, now Tuskegee University, in Alabama, where she majored in business. She was also she also worked in the office that processed applications for Tuskegee branch of the Civilian Pilot Training Program (CPTP). Hemmings attempted to apply for the program herself, but was rejected because she hadn't turned 18 yet. She would apply again a year later and was accepted. Hemmings graduated with Chusky's first class of CPTP trainees, and on February 1, 1941, she received her private pilot certificate, which made her the first female pilot in Alabama. Hemmings flew a Piper J3 Club Cub that she rented from Tuskegee. She also met First Lady Everdor Worsbo, who was visiting Tuskegee University at the time. Mildred Mary Helbert Carter, who was a pilot in training, on August 21, 1942, at the Tuskegee Army Airfield Chapel. The couple had three children. During that same year, she started to fly with Tuskegee's chief flight instructor, Charles Alfred Anderson. Both Carter and Anderson traveled to Montgomery, Alabama, to sign up for the Civil Air P- Patrol, um, also, you know, Agram Nevers, um, cap. This, um, made Carter the first black, uh, first black woman in Montgomery Civil Air Park Patrol squadron. Squadron, squadron. Because of her race, she wasn't called to patrol for the state. Carter attempted to pursue more advanced training from Tuskegee Civilian Pilot Training Program, but couldn't because she was a woman. I thought, honestly, they would have said because she was not only a woman, because she was black as well, too, but okay. She ins- she instead applied for the Women's Air Force Services Pilots, but in this instance, it was rejected because of her race. Well, that soon, unfortunately, followed her about the race thing. Um, during the World War II, Carter worked on a um, Moton Field, then, o- then the only fight training facility for African-American pilot candidates in the United States Army, Air Corps. She became chief clerk of the court- quartermaster court. She also rigged parachutes and operated bulldozers to clear airstrips. After World War II ended, Carter traveled across the United States and Europe to men to encourage young black women to become pilots. Many of these women became fighting nurses and uh, astrospace engineers. Carter finally gave up flying in 1985 at the age of 64 after she suffered. Why do I say she suffered? Excuse me, y'all. Suffered a broken hip. In February 2011, Carter was declared one of the, one of the original Tuskegee Airmen. Mildred Keller died on to, uh, October 21, 2011, after a long illness. She was 90. God rest her soul, she lived a long and I hope a feeling of beautiful life. But anyway, y'all, like I said, um, oh, this is another one. Okay, but I'll read that tomorrow. Uh oh, I got off of her too quick. I gotta put the name in the description. I'm up here like, yeah, I'm done for the day. Mm-mm. No, not yet. <laughs> okay. But, anyways, y'all. Oh, I'm just looking at all this information and all these gems and stuff. It's just so nice. Anyway, y'all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here. And, um, oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, that's my notifications. But hugs and loves Power by his body will be is another week, the last week of April. And body in this week will be in May. So take care of y'all. Self says hugs and loves. Virtual hugs and loves. And I will see y'all in the next one, y'all. Take care. See y'all tomorrow.